0 and 5, 5 and 0, all very relative when we talk about these two teams. We're going to try to break this one down for you. Liquid Dignitas squaring off in one map here. One more to go still. But for all intents and purposes, guys, Dignitas came out swinging. Looked pretty good in the beginning. They were even up 8 to 4 against yeah. the Team Liquid on, on the T side, which arguably is the, the harder side of Mirage. So that was looking pretty promising. Uh, as you said, they came out swinging. They actually played well. And it was not only the fact that they got the rounds, but it was the fashion that got them in. They, they tried to play fast, they tried to play slow, and they like sort of like showed the entire package on that CT side. On that C side and they managed to pick up 8 rounds. So that was pretty... Uh, Pretty good, I'd say, and then you swung over to the CT side and, and <laughs> nothing really rough. happened. And then, uh, you know, zero rounds on the CT side, not even close, uh, I, I'd say. So that was a little bit of a shame, but compared to the picture we painted before the match, I'd say it's a, a positive thing they can take away from this game that actually were part of it. Yeah, no, I th think that's really the, the big thing we have to focus on, the fact that we, we did paint it as a pretty grim picture where we expected, what, maybe three to four rounds to, mm. to go their way, and they managed to get eight weapon rounds uh, yeah. because they didn't win any pistols. So that makes it all the more impressive. And as you said, the, it's the fashion that they do it in. The fact that it's not gimmicky, it's not just off of the fact of crazy clutches not, uh, necessarily. Although you did have some, some good moments there from Voltage, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was, you know, off the back of well thought uh, through a uh, game plan. You know, you could see they're changing up the tempo. You could see them catching them very off guard, you know, on one of their, their eight pushes, for instance, where they come swinging out of apps, even though there's a cross the fire set up from Liquid, etc. Like they have kind of set up the parameters for how they're going to approach any sort of uh, sort of take on the on the bomb site, which is really refreshing to see, because for the better part of what we saw from Dignitas in the first couple of games they've had versus Luminosity and uh, and Complexity, we didn't really get to see a whole lot of that. So this is definitely a step in the right direction. Obviously, CT side is a bit of a different tale, but you know you have to take what you can in terms of uh, positivity going into this, because we have to say like, like there's no. Like, <laughs> there's no hiding the fact that they're going up against by far the best team they've played so far in Pro League. So for them to get eight rounds uh, off of that, that's, that's a start. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, it, it all depends on where you set the bar, right? And if you expect them to win this game, then obviously not good enough. But yeah. I think nobody does that. You know, uh, getting those eight rounds and, and going to show that they're part of the game and actually dictated the game at some point was, was pretty impressive from, from Ding Tess. And then again, let's say they won one of the pistol rounds or, or won the pistol round on the CT side. We could have had a, a real game on our hands where, where Liquid actually got pressure into double digits and actually had to take, a, take it a little bit more seriously than it made it. Well, it was a troublesome second half, but I guess we can come back just a little bit further to the first half. Uh, a lot of good individual play. Who, who are some individuals that stuck out to you? I'd say Mitch was definitely up there doing his part within this dig and toss lineup. Yeah, no, Mitch definitely got them off to, to swinging start, really. A, a massive part of how they got those eight rounds. Uh, and again, Voltage with that off, again, showcasing that... Even if this data toss doesn't necessarily amount to something, maybe they don't even, you know, maintain their spot for the next season. I think, you know, there, there are positives uh, and you know they could be sh shown a spotlight on some of these players like voltage for instance to maybe uh stay in the pro league not necessarily with dignitas but with a, a different team that has actually managed to to salvage their place and that's the most important thing about like this entire league and this entire season for dignitas it, it's all about getting that experience and getting that confidence that they're able to play on this level as we talked about they're coming from the mdl this is the first time for many of them in pro league i think mitch has played that before it's the only one i think mitch is mce because he was MCE a stand-in for selfless in that stand -in chaos go, season. Right? But, yeah. but it's, it's sort of like the first season for many of these guys so so getting that experience and and, and getting a feeling for like the level of of, of competitive play in, in this league compared to the MDL is, is a good experience for them. And if they get out here, you know, with, uh, with skill on their toes and, and still believe they have what it takes to be, become a, a real pro player in that sense or become a better pro player, then that's all you can ask for for Dignitas' uh, lineup in this season. But if you are the players on Dignitas, you can ask this next map goes more so in your favor. We're going to be going to train the last map of the evening and more importantly, the last chance here for Dignitas to grab their first W of the season over an opponent that is unbeaten to this point in Team Liquid. Uh, can they do it on train, guys? Can they get even closer on train, I should say? I, I'm going to put that down as a no. All right. Well, that yeah. does it for us. We'll be packing it up and yeah. heading home from here. That's all you need to know. No, I, I, uh, it's simply off the back that Liquid are an extremely strong tra uh, train team. Hmm. And again, even though they're a team that doesn't necessarily rely on ops, they are still an exceptional team on that map, which does lend itself to strong op players. Uh, they just have a very thought out plan as to how they want to play it and again it's going to take i think it's a way harder task to play both the ct and the t side really on train than it is on mirage for that matter so i think it's going to be harder to come by rounds sure they could get off to a great start if they 
when a pistol round, for instance, is mentioned when that first buy round, they might have enough money to get a couple of op or get an op out multiple times in a row, for instance, on voltage, and do something off of that. But outside of that, it's really tough to see where they're going to find their their openings. One thing that's interesting about this liquid lineup, maybe not in, in terms of like playing against thicknesses, but but the potential of a double op setup is, is not too great for for liquid side. You know, they Nef can pick it up and, and play a decent secondary op, and Nitro is not the best op, but a, a decent op, right? So if if we look at liquid in, in in the future prospects, you know, having that double op setup that makes Many teams very strong, especially on the CT sides on, on maps like Train. That's not something Liquid have uh, in in their back pocket. So again, against a team like Dignitas, it's it's most likely not needed, right? But that's probably the only weakness you can find on on Liquid on this Train map. Uh, as you said, they're pretty strong on it, and, and they know how to play the fundamentals of Counter Strike. So again, having a hard time seeing how Dignitas is actually going to break this one down. I think even further more than that, we could just talk about sheer exposure that either of these teams have had, right? So you're Dignitas. You just got here to Pro League. You're trying to find that footing. And, well, ultimately, Liquid, you travel around the world, you play against the best of the best, and you are going to have some natural tr tricks up your sleeve that, you know, ultimately you wouldn't have to use out any other day. Yeah, and you just better individual players as, as well in that yeah. sense. You know, every player for player on, on Liquid is, is better players than, than the Dignitas guys. So even though one of the Dignitas guys maybe have the game of his life, then there's still four, guys, four other guys that you have to, to take account for. And that's a, that's a tough one to, to do for Dignitas. Train is one of those maps that if you don't have many money control and if you get off to a rough start, it can be hard to fight back in. And that gives, again, Dignitas a, a leap of faith in, in this one. But overall, it just looks hard for them. You know, player for player, that does better Liquid. Pound for pound. How bore are you going to have to say this? same or should I just say it for you? No, you might as well do the okay, honor. Okay, so it's going to be difficult. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, no, I th that is going to be the way it is. I mean, if Dignitas can come out to a good start like they, they did in the last map, perhaps there's a chance. But once again, the bucket is going to be full of liquid uh, <laughs> when it comes to just how heavy this one could possibly be. It could be a five gallon or two. So hope you've been doing your curls over there, Dignitas. And with that, two guys that do curls by themselves alone in the green room in between breaks. It would be Harold and Jason. Guys, take it away. Thank you for that very awkward introduction. Uh, yes, last map of the evening. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it, Jason. I am. Um, <laughs> I don't, Contain I don't, I don't, yourself. I, yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah. What, what can I say, you know? Um, I, I think the task, they, they could do good here. I'm hoping. You know? okay. I was actually quite impressed on Mirage, and I think uh, the subject that I think uh, it was Pimpy brought up, that there isn't really a, a double orb that is like incredibly strong for Liquid could, could definitely uh, benefit them because Voltage was looking very good on that previous map. I think there's a, a sneaky double op on Team Liquid. Yeah, no like pure opper as as we all know, but I mean Twist can use it. I know Nit Nitro can obviously use it. Either way, fast pistol rod coming in. Here's Mitch holding the line. Three quick headshots. That's beautiful. Gives them a massive advantage. The bomb is down all the way towards Ivy. So Nitro and Naf, they have to make the way. They have to win this fight, but it's not going to happen. Mitch with four. And it's the unarmored Liquid player in a one versus three. As we've got this cinematic view of the slaughter that has taken place. Nitro, it appears, is going to get headshot. Tid. Yeah, that was too violent for TV. This was nice, though. Good start for Dignitas. I mean, Mitch, he was kind of hitting his shots in the previous map. He looked to try and carry that one forward. Remember, they had a terrible CT side on Mirage. Uh, that, was, that was the kind of side that really failed them. So if they get out to a good start here, obviously, Pistol is a good first step. Winning the second round is a nice second step. Um, but, I mean, if they can sustain and get some of the ops out and, and really have an advantage in terms of nades and economy, um, they might be able to turn this into a solid lead to switch over onto the offensive side of things. Yeah, so it's Deagles across the board for Liquid. To try and answer back. They've got the one flash on Nitro. He, well, he was over towards Ivy early on. Now he starts to retreat back with the bomb. It looks like he's going to set up for a B play. And he's just here holding over in a pop dog. And the fact they got this for free is, uh, is pretty handy for Liquid. They do go ahead and vacate the premises and now start to turn their attention towards the B-bomb. So MC does lie and wait, but he's got an MP9 from very far away, which isn't the, the most ideal combination. So as the push comes through, these Deagles can do damage. And a bomb plant looks like it should be assured, especially as they get past the first wave. But that incendiary denies any possibility. And MCE 
actually putting the MP9 to work at range. Wants to try and get more work done. And he is going to be able to find Nap as well. It all falls onto a leash. And so the bomb plant never comes through. And that's thanks to some very good incendiary usage from Dignitas. And really nice timing on the rotation as well. I think Liquid just kind of threw that flashbang and started moving down the ramp just a second or two late. Bought time for the Molotov to get put into place. And when that first kill comes out, the bomb has dropped forward. So it's very difficult to recover safely. So Liquid, they get nothing done in that round. With the Deagle investment, it all goes to waste. So going to have to save as much as humanly possible. Some P250s picked up. Flashbang on Nitro. Twist going to play that same game again down the ladder. And, and eventually going to hand over the $600 bonus money. And now it should just be a crossfire slaughter. Very quick that comes to an end. All five players of Liquid go down. There's not even a whole lot of kills. Only two kills in these first three rounds for Team Liquid, so the money is going to be deceptively large for Dignitas. And they still have three SMGs, so a, a very... The most bonus of all bonus rounds, I guess we could call it. A super bonus round. Uh, we can go with that. I was going to try and challenge it, but I like the simplicity. And, uh, yeah. They've gone for the, the super bonus round. A name so catchy. I can hear it in, in grandiose stadiums in, in times to come. So here we go. Grim's down here in the Pop Dog. That's the UMP in hand. There is a man up above him. That's a legion. So he's just toying around with him right now. Hasn't committed to the drop down. Steel going to go ahead and... Smoke off one side here at Ivy. That means he... Uh, well, I was going to say, he has much to worry about, but Exceed actually pushes on through. In the meantime, look at this from Grimm. He's all the way up in main. Gets a lot of information on the back of this. And the Incendiary might have given away that there is going to be some aggression. You can see that Twist is keeping his, his eye on this now. Once again, slowly but surely, Liquid start to peel off from these original positions in their default and start to head over towards B. They have to go quiet, though, because Grimm is pushed up. And if they start running too early, he's going to hear that and force a rotation or, or, or send a rotation. That'll be voltage come back towards it in a bombsite. And the fact that this has taken so long might indeed cause that rotation to come in quicker, especially now that Alish has given up the game. He's taken some shots. They have to get in here quick, and Mitch is going to get a kill on Naf. That's in lateral room. MCE with an off angle, but there's the SMG at that range. Not as effective. Nitro going to try and push up. Caught out in the open. Good kills coming out. Good trades, though, in these SMGs. Remember, this is that bonus round. Liquid need to get some kills. They need to do it quick. And Exceed is going to get aggressive. He's trying to take attention away from the flank, and Steel doesn't heal it, hear it whatsoever. The bomb is no longer planted for Team Liquid. Grim, what can he do? Can't even make it to the bomb. He's down to 10 HP, and he almost has to just stick this. But he's not going to, and there's Twist. He's going to come up, get his third kill of the round. How many times have we seen Twist get a triple kill? Close, though. The Dignitas, now they can get the AWPs on board. Now they can get all the M4s. Yeah, the buy is going to be coming on through, and it is a good one. They still have a good amount of money even behind this double op setup, which is insanity this early in the game. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that, that all comes down to the choice to run the bonus round and, and make so much money in the first couple. But already Grim has gone ahead and felt the full force of Twist. He's going to keep pushing on through. Wants to try and win another duel, but Mitch is there to trade. And now Voltage claims a life. Mitch going to go down on the back of a fast double. Nitro on one HP. Anything could kill him. Anything in the world. As he now starts to rotate down towards Ivy. Naf is here with him, keeping an eye to see if any aggression has come through towards B initially, perhaps. Dinatas are actually set up quite well for this. You have Voltage holding for the aggression out from Ivy. MC watching anything from May. But the thing is, Naf is actually going to be allowed full control of Pop Dog for free. I don't know if MC is ready for this. No, he is. He's keeping an eye on it. This is going to be tough, though. Naf has to have some success. MCE and Voltage both playing off angles. Naf's hoping at the moment his utility will force someone out of position. It's not happening so far. No one's budged. Just going to readjust and clear out this lane. Old hell for Nitro, who's got to do the job of clearing out left of Ivy. 
MCE gonna turn the corner, misses some shots. He's giving away his position. Now Naf has to take care of him though. Nitro still can't do it. 20 seconds, and Voltage hasn't even tried to get engaged into this. There's a good kill, and Nitro can't trade it off. 15 seconds left. That has to be a frag for Nitro, and it is. Bomb's gonna get planted. And meanwhile, Voltage, since he hasn't moved, he's so far away with that AWP. One HP doesn't matter against the AWP. There's the peak. Voltage, no gun in his hands. And Nitro steals it away from the clutches of Dignitas, swapping out for the AWP. Some mistakes in that two-on-two. -two. And Liquid get away with one. Yeah, that was really a round that never should have been. Took Nitro on one HP. The first player should have never just tried to dip out of that bombsite into connector with, you know, just give up on the fight. Pull out the USP, something. You're not going to get away in that scenario. Time is your friend as well. And Voltage just never made a play with that AWP. Here's Twist with the Mac 10. Gets blind, does some good damage though. And now Nap is going to swing out. There's going to be a lot of players in his face. And Nitro cannot pounce until it's too late to save his buddies. And there goes Grim. Twist now. With the MAC-10 pushing onto the bomb train, gets taken out, and there's not a lot of economy being built up by Team Liquid on this T side. Which is uh, as good as it can get for Dignitas, you still have a lot of money, and a technical timeout going to come out, I'm assuming, from the defense as they want to talk things over. Yeah, they don't want to repeat the, uh, the mistakes of rounds prior, that is for certain. I'm trying to make sure they're all on the same page here, looking to the future. They're buying one up. Voltage has the AWP in hand. Going to have that to work with. Rifles across the board. I believe for everyone else. I think I saw rifles on everyone. Yeah, they're a little bit limited on Voltage in terms of utility, but everyone else more than makes up for that fact. So initially, he's going to be watching from Connector. Two players over here at B. Look like they might try their hands at aggression. Flash goes in, and that's now allow Mitch to possibly take a peek, but he elects against it. He's heard the footsteps here early on, and actually, he now has MC up in the rafters with him. Both players holding this angle. Steel is there. And it's just a standoff here. Outside of B. No one peeking into anything just yet. Now that bomb looking like it's showing some hesitancy. A little bit dubious whether or not they want to stick around over here at B early on, but they will. Nap's going to rotate in to join them. And this now could get won or lost on the basis of how Mitch and MC do. Seal just has to lurk this now. Actually, they're going to continue to push forward. He spots, should spot two. He knows they're both there. Nap is covering the back, but he gets taken down as well. All of a sudden, a three on five, and there's so many different angles that Liquid have to worry about. Molotov out towards default plant. It's going to go down to the left side anyways. Alige. Being risky, but the Molotov comes in just in time. Still a chance. Still hope for Liquid and look at Twist. He's going to pick up the pace. He's going to be able to take down Volted. Now he's got a flank. Nitro damage is being dealt. He's burning alive. It's all on a lesion. He goes down. An awkward round for both teams. A situation you don't normally encounter and one that's probably not theory crafted all that well. And Dignitas is going to get up towards four. First gun round win for them. They're going to regain the lead. And now they're going to move into the double orb setup as well. <coughs> going to be uh, one at four voltage and one at four exceed to try and work with. Liquid, they've got money to buy. Twist going to look a little bit limited, only have the deke to work with. I don't have much utility to try and put to use here. So they've looked good thus far in these buy rounds. Early flash down into IV from Exceed. It's now he scopes on down. No one peeking into this. Flash going to go through Exceed. Dodges Ooh. in. Steel going to get picked on the cross. Mad advice taken early on for Dignitas. And no response just yet from Liquid. Elise boosted up here to try and find something. Might spot the man on top of the train. That's Voltage. But not quite. That's awkward. It seems from our point of view, as that smoke vades, he should have had a pretty clear glimpse. Exceed. Kind of back away from that fight. Ladder room is open. It is smoked off at the moment, so Dignitas largely ignoring it. All their positions centered around Ivy. 
They've got to be careful. This could come back to bite them. And Mitch, a little bit of team damage onto Exceed. Itchy trigger finger. Still, though, ladder room. Doesn't have a whole lot of attention on it from Dignitas. And there's the peak from Voltage. Finds it out. Naf was taking it slow. He, he expected to encounter some kind of defense. Good kills for Mitch. And there's crossfires everywhere. Twist has a big job to do, but it's Elise who's got to open it up for him. Got to find one more. But that angle from Exceed is keeping him hit him. Twist now. Shooting through the box. Shooting through the smoke. Great shot from Exceed. Twist trying to bait it out. It's not going to happen. And Liquid gets stumped again on the offense. Double up set up looking real good for Dignitas. Five to three. Yeah, things looking good here for the Dignitas side. It seems that like they uh, are in control right now. Liquid now with no money. And once again, I mean, this was the thing that kind of allowed Dignitas to get a leg up over on Mirage. <coughs> and it looks like it might repeat itself here. The two PT-50s and a three Glocks. Liquid desperate for any sort of advantage they can find. Grim spots a couple of players early on uh, over here at B. Liquid down and Pop might just try bursting into this A-bomb site. Yeah, I imagine Dignitas are too keen to make a mistake. So here we go. They start to push on into the slaughter that is Mitch and Exceed burns out a liege. It's just Twist and Steel left. Steel spotted Exceed. Okay, now they've been able to find themselves two. And actually Steel now has the AWP to work with. Voltage going to smite down Twists. Leave this all on Steel. Minute and ten to play with. Kill found onto MCE. You're going to keep pushing on in. Voltage did spot the head. Steel going to start to round the corner. And he saw the barrel. He knows that he's there, but does he know the whereabouts of Grim? It looks like he might try peeking into this. Steel's dropped one, and now it all falls onto Grim. Has no idea where he is, and Steel, look it away. Grim is going to be able to trade. To Dignitas, they will find the round, but by the skin of their teeth. That is not an ideal round for the defense. They lose so much. They do keep one AWP, but they have to reinvest everything, and I think that takes the second op away from them. MCE going to go down to the SMG. I think even Voltage uh, dropped a weapon to a teammate right at the end there. So five AKs. This would be huge for Team Lu Liquid to win this. That was, would uh, break the economy. And look at this. Bold play from MCE. Wants to go clear out above ladder. There's going to be no one here. This is going to be a huge disaster as Mitch can now actually rotate back. So there can be four players outside. Mitch with a quick flank down ladder, a really quick flank down ladder. And again, three players for Dignitas over towards Ivy. Oh, and he's going to go all the way. This is pretty dirty. No, he's not. He's just making sure everything's cleared out. I'm actually kind of confused by that. Certainly, I'll pick up the pace once the utility is thrown from Team Liquid, and here it comes. One player to lurk in Ivy, but MCE, I think, is just going to shut most of this down before it begins. And no, the timing isn't with him. He has to start walking, and he has to try and do this as sneaky as possible. There goes Naf, but he can only get one. Calls coming out from Team Liquid. They're being flanked, but they just continue to push forward towards the bomb train, and they're clearing out everything. Elige does eventually fall, but space has been created. Twist can't hit the pixel shot. Slowly backing away, Nitro takes up the mantle and now it's exceed one on two and he knows exactly where twist is spots the leg shoots away risky takes him some time to get it but thankfully nitro can't trade slowing it down for the one-on-one -on -one. and there's the peak from the middle of the train and liquid have done it again only one player surviving but mission accomplished yeah gonna be into a fourth Liquid, oh, feeling all right about this. There's no money ready for Dignitas to invest anything here. Maybe a partial buy down on the guys that can't afford it. MC and Exceed both picking up some CZs, but that is it for Dignitas. They're not expecting too much from this round. Right now, I have to say, I've been very impressed with Mitch. He looked good here and uh, also good on Mirage. He's kind of been the... Uh, one of the two men I've really enjoyed watching on Dignitas. That's well, Voltage being the other one. I think those two are the ones that can kind of raise Dignitas up from the depths. At least that's how it looks right now. Elige He's waiting over here in Pop, trying to bait a shot out perhaps from Exceed, and he's not taking the bait. Elige is going to go down. Did spot. 
I think Anders would be telling us right about now that that spot is not spammable. Or it is, but at some weird angle, more than likely. Pretty patient from Liquid. They really need to keep as many people alive as possible in this round. They have had problems with money throughout this game. and Here they come towards the inner bombsite. MC can't get the angle. Can't react in time. There is a fast flank coming in. But it's already being watched by Steel. And three USPs remain. So it will be five for Liquid. And they shouldn't lose players to any... Or shouldn't lose any other players, essentially. And Dignitas, with just the three USPs, such a small chance of doing any damage here at the end of the round, might just want to not feed over that bonus money. Might just want to run away as Naf goes on the hunt, gets one. And he is going to hunt down the second early. At least Elise will. It's taken a bit, but Liquid has fought back into this game. And another round, Dignitas is going to have to sit out. So, despite the fact that the CT side has looked good for them, throughout the majority of the game, it's going to be... Oh, no, excuse me. They're going to buy right up into it. Craziness. Wild scenes here. Yeah, it is It is uh, the Wild West, truly. And, uh, well, let's see. There's only uh, enough space in this town for one of these teams or something. Weston, here's Twist. He's already out. And he is looking for a duel. A true cowboy as he holds down the angle. Grimswood had a fine naff early on. Oh, Nitro would have killed for that opportunity, quite literally. Wasn't able to find it just yet, but he starts to creep forward. Almost finds MCE, but not quite. So Dignitas will maintain the man advantage for now. Exceed is in danger of being caught out by Twist. He holds down the angle, Twist. Starts to creep forward, Ali going to be able to find him. MCE now falls as well. It is into a three on three as Grim tries desperately to keep things even. Voltage going to do just that. Steel out from Ivy, just going to miss the timing onto Voltage, who's repositioned, spots out Twist in the open, miss shot from Steel. Tags him up the second time around, and now he knows both players reside into Connector. So he's getting a lot of it off, that now gives him time to get the bomb. But the only issue is both players from Dignitas now going to reposition, he's going to rotate away. Nothing to do now but sprint towards the B bomb site. And Voltage will have a quick chance, a quick pivot point to spin and check, but actually he's going towards inside, so at least the bomb will be planted. Remember, Steel used his Molotov as well in Connector. So how does he play this? Got to be careful with his footsteps. Both players from Dignitas are going to be here, and he's going to hear that. Jumping up as well, and he misses the shot. That would have been ideal. Still would have been tough. He would have had a transfer up on top of the train. No guarantee he would have landed that kill, but... Plant's going to help out for Team Liquid, and that buy-up works out well for Dignitas. Op and AK-47 brought forward into the next round, and they're up 7-5. to five. Yeah, it's a much closer affair here on Train, and as you said, it was the CT side of Mirage that let them down. Now, this map, you know, conventionally is CT-sided, but I think Dignitas keep playing how they did on Mirage here on their T-side. And, you know, go for these sort of uh, faster commitments in, into the sites, then we could see them have some success here. Things are looking quite good for them. They could have bought down into this round anyway. A chance now to try and reset Dignitas. And they're going to go try to take the fight with Exceed down here in Ivy. He goes peeking into this alone. A smoke's there. So he's been allowed to cross. He does have Mitch nearby, but not in a position to trade. Exceed really gambling here. As he pushes up early on, going to try to peek over the top of the smoke. And actually, um, they don't look too ready for this. They try and Molotov Max. See, it's got one, and he just manages to slip away. That is massive. Man, if I taken, Max Seed gets the hell out of there. Liquid going to lose more players over him. Pop Dog, Blink of an Eye, it's just Steel and Twists left. Two on three. Uh, low HP. Steel's got to win this and can't do it. Twist. 22 health, and you would have thought Mitch would have been able to clear that one out, but even on the ladder, just one bullet lands. Twist is aware of the flank possibility. It's Dignitas who are making all the plays right now. That double push out towards Ivy, Grim in towards T-Mid, and now MCE to close 
the round out in favor of Dignitas. They're looking to have a very strong first half. Eight to five. And if Team Liquid want to fight for six, they, they kind of just have to save here. Maybe very, very small investment. They don't have a whole lot of the losing bonus built up. So minimal purchases for the T side. Ooh, that's going to help out. Knife, not much. Exceed down to 87. Nitro, one flashbang. The God Flash. There it is. Doesn't blind too many, and they're going to try and make progression. But the M4s are just too strong at long range. The Deagle finally chiming in, but that's all it's going to get. Just the one kill. So 9-5, to five, Liquid going to fight for 6 on this T side of train. Yeah, I mean, for Liquid there, you have quickly discovered that overcoming this Dignitas CT side is a uh, pretty tough task. Especially while Mitch stands in their way. Him and Voltage have looked very good. Grim's been stepping up as well in these last few rounds. And well, this time they've got AKs across the board. Nice bit of utility to try and work with. And once again, it looks like they think that they might find some solace in this A bomb site. Lining up the smokes and flashes early on to make this play. It's a Legion Steel providing those. Nitro holding onto a flash as well to try and get twists and naff out through main. Their aim has to be true. And now they will push on it through. Voltage holds close and what can he do? Nothing. He'll go down. Mitch gonna go out and trade back and he's only able to get himself two before naff is there to pick up the pieces. Exceed gets one and then the trade is there. The bomb down and out in the open has to go down at four liquid, and they've got plenty of time to go for it. They do get on it quickly. MCE baited forward, 22 HP on him, and now Steel's gonna find it. It all falls onto Grim, and he somehow pulled it back into a 1v1. Steel holds down the angle, and he will win out the fight. The first half gonna end at nine at six. Still in the advantage of Dignitas. The liquid find one there at the end. A great round for Steel. Some awkward fights. MC kind of wanders in at a, at a weird angle, and then obviously Grim peeking down the lanes. Wasn't aware that he was exposed to Seal, so he's given a couple gifts, but... You know, I think everyone's going to be happy with what we've seen out of Dignitas today, regardless of whether they can win this one. The first half on the T side of Mirage was, was great. It was fun to watch from Dignitas. Challenging, and at least in this series, they're showing that they can stack up individually to a certain degree against these Liquid players. They're not just getting mopped off the server, which is... Uh, quite nice, and obviously now on the CT side of Train, putting up nine rounds. Going to be very pleased with that one. Mitch is having himself a game. 20 and 9 for him, 145 ADR. That's good to see. Twist leading the way for Team Liquid at 14 and 12. All about this second half, though. Now you get to see if this young roster, this new roster, these new players to ESL Pro League are going to be well-versed on train because this T-side can sometimes make you feel very lost as a unit. Bit of an awkward fight. Steel does go down. Now they start to make their way in. They're certainly not feeling lost on their way into A. But Nitro drops the bomb and now Twist comes through the smoke. How's he managed this? He gets himself two. MC is going to fall and just as I say it... They got oh, yeah. lost real quick when yeah. the smokes came out, didn't they? That is true. Yeah. Blind <laughs> in the smoke. And without a proper guide, they will fall liquid onto a seventh round. And they win out the pistol quite crucially. Now they remember the shot of equalizing this one out early on. CZs and Deagles out for Dignitas as they try and respond, but going to be held at bay, at least initially. Exceed has one smoke. That's towards uh, above ladder. And he could be the one dying here. And he's going to peek just as they fall. Nice transfer. They were not expecting him to peek up as they came down, so Elijah's probably a bit shocked as well, to be fair. It's going to be a two on five. No success for Dignitas, and Elise trying to go up the ladder, finally going to get punished. Steel's pushing behind him as well. Might not get a chance if Nitro finishes this round off. There's the peak, the duel at the Famas, not going to work. And Liquid now with their eighth.
Yeah, this round is just one where Dignitas have to admit defeat, going with just Glocks. They're not expecting too much. They buy one flash, so you imagine it's just going to be a play into B. This is a, a site where you can still get the bomb down in these rounds, especially if Liquid do opt to play passively, but with Steel on the UMP, you don't imagine they do that. So we're going to try and be pretty silent early on. MC goes charging in. Spots out Steel. Rotation already coming through from Naf and Elise. They go ahead and start to pull some men over toward B, and the aggression from Twist is going to help them do that that much more. He's down in IB, gets the information that no one's there. Actually, everyone starts to make their way in now. The flash is pretty perfect. It's allowed the bomb to cross, and it will go down just in the nick of time. Steel can't quite deny it. And even though they don't get any kills, they get the bomb down, and that's all Dignitas wanted. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the best they could have hoped for there. So well played to Dignitas to at least get the plant. The extra $800 is going to help out quite nice. Allow a stronger buy, allow some utility with the AWP. Voltage certainly going to go for that. With light armor to allow the Molotov smoke flash by. So three Fama still on the board for Team Liquid and a UMP on steel. Let's we'll see what they can do with the Dignitas. Some kind of a default setup we have going on here. Exceed above the ladder. Mitch far, far back. Passive in Tcon. Perhaps to throw some utility. Watching for an Ivy push. But four players towards this inner bomb site right at the start. Mitch and, Dignity, uh, Mitch and Voltage, rather. Starts lightly, smokes along with Grim out towards A. You still have MC holding for any sort of aggression from B, and XC going to join him now, so... Might try throwing a fake into this. Definitely set up where they could. Yeah, they throw in that initial bar as a utility. It looks like Mitch is going to start to progress forward. Nah, he's been able to get MC eliminated from the equation over here at B, and that's already forced Dignitas' hands. They look a bit confused here. They're going to start to double back around and down into pop they go, but you can't assume it's clear. Elise is able to get himself one. Exceed does trade back. Nitro, he's going to go through the smoke. He completely decimates voltage, and that will be the round going the way of Liquid. Ultimately, a bit of confusion at the end there as to where it was they wanted to head. And, you know, with, with little time left, dropping into drop down, uh, into pop dog rather, the way they did, allowed Elise just to slow down the push that much more. He found great damage. I mean, to put it put it bluntly, I mean, that, that fake was, like, it just kind of shows the kind of level that Dignitas is used to playing at, because that kind of a fake isn't going to have any successful in the pro scene. As soon as there's smoke called outside, Nitro just drops the Molotov on that lower ramp, because he knows, like, if that's a fake and they want to come inside, that's going to delay things. And then there's a miscommunication from Dignitas, where one player peeks up a ramp before they're ready to come down lower ramp. So then it's just this awkward situation where he's given his life for nothing, and Steel missed that smoke. He's got to be careful because MCE is playing with his balls right now and he's just going to take advantage of everything. One shot, Steel's going to be so confused why he just got taken down. Now, it did open up the window to get the plant, but that's about it. Yeah, you would have loved to have seen maybe more come of that play from MCE, but still, as you say, yeah, it does allow them to get the bomb down. Which you can't be too disappointed with, although at this point, with the amount of money on Liquid, you kind of need to start also doing damage to go with that. They do buy on up, and they've got money to buy into the next round as a consequence of the bomb plant, which is always nice. But that still doesn't take away from the elephant in the room, and that is the fact that three of these players for Liquid still have over $10,000 in their bank accounts, and the rest residing on about five to 6000 so buying is not a problem. Oh, Liquid Nitro is going to go aggressive over here at B, and they haven't seen him do this yet. This could catch them off guard. The timing was everything there, and luckily enough, both Grim and Exceed are allowed just to skirt on by. Twist is boosted up down here at Ivy. Three players do reside here for Dignitas, as they look like they want to try and take control of this early on. Gonna do it quietly. Looks like it'll be some degree of a contact play. 
Twist is boosted up, and if they just walk out into this, they're in for a real bad time. Although, Steel, uh, Steel helps them out. There's one kill from Twist. Can't follow up. Mitch turns the corner with the information, pre-firing, and Naf now. He's got to take the fight. He's got to be aggressive about it, and he does. Voltage has the angle now, and there it is. Great trades. And the outer bomb site is open. Elise rotating around towards Old Bomb. All the way out towards Ivy. One kill from him would be stellar. Yes, spotted one cross, doesn't take the shot. It's not the one he wants. This is much better. Bomb down in the open. Voltage, though, another trade for him and Nitro. Gonna get stuck between two players firing at him and Dignitas still alive. They still have a pulse with their first round win of the second half. And the reset is still a long way off for them. Well, they have broken the bank of Elysian Steel. The, uh, the team's pool of money is still looking fine. Dignitas could be throwing an early smoke out towards A. Looking once again to try and take control down here toward Ivy, where Twists and Nitro bide their time. Smokes down. That's gonna that's gonna quell any resistance here from Dignitas for the time being. Starts a fade, and now they try peeking on through. I haven't spotted anything yet. It's Voltage, the man you're looking to to try and open things up here. Put the resmoke now in from Nitro, and that much more time gonna be taken up contending this ground here down in Ivy. Forty-five seconds left as Mitch is looking for a pick. And that's kind of what you get for taking that fight with an AK-47. Nitro loving that fight. Now the Molotov is out. Elige maintaining control of ladder room. That's huge. And Nitro able to work these lanes, but everyone dying. Everyone being slaughtered for Dignitas. No ground gained. And Voltage just has to back off and save the AWP. Great defense from Team Liquid. Everyone winning their fights. I'm, I'm confused why Mitch was the one boosted up when Voltage had an AWP, but I guess we'll allow it. There's one kill at the end, consolation prize, and Liquid want to take this away. So that smoke is going to make things so difficult. And oh, is this going to be a run boost? I would enjoy that. Maybe not. Flashbang high. He's completely blinded. Buy him some seconds. He misses the kill, and he gets no money. So Team Liquid is ruthless. Yeah, now they're in a very awkward position. Do they go for uh, an investment here? You'd imagine not. They could afford to maybe just take the eco in this round. You have MC with a lot more money than everyone else. He's invested in armor and a deagle. And it uh, looks like they're just going to try the old faithful B rush. It doesn't get any simpler than this. MC with the deagle armor tries to open up. Naf going to start to creep his way, so they might be able to find foot in the door here. No one there to keep an eye on it, though. In spite of all four players being nearby, MC is hung out to dry. Naf keeps on pushing, and next it's Mitch to die. He'll go down. Kill it used up to try and keep this play in for Dignitas from coming through. Yeah, Liquid's just being suffocating now on these anti-ecos, aren't they? they just, they're getting to that point where they just want to end the game. Easy double kill for Steel. 13 to 10 now, and if Dignitas want to stay in this, they need to respond here. Question is, do they want to use a timeout? Talk some things over. The answer to that is apparently no. Voltage going to go for the AWP right at the end of freeze time, trying to figure out what he wanted to battle with in this round. This ninth round of the second half. Liquid is three rounds away from going 2-0 and in the evening, and... Looks like Dignitas wanted to pick up the pace to ensure that Elise couldn't control ladder room, and the question becomes, what do they do from here? If that was plan A, that yields them uh, nothing but map control. Do they have something that can build upon it? Well, already they've been sent out of uh, out of 
Pop Dog. They worked hard to get the control, and Elige will go ahead and shut them out of here once and for all. He's going to keep going, actually, and MCE could get caught off guard by this. He doesn't expect him to be up and out of Pop. Why would you? And now Twist is going to go down, at least in the meantime. They found a way in. But now, nah. marking down the angle. Going to drop out Voltage. It all falls onto Mitch. And he will fall a massive 4K from Elige. 14 to 10, no money left for Dignitas. And there's the replay of Elige, of course, taking back control of Pop. You love to see that. It was uh, a flash on in. I, th I think it came from Nitro. It was fantastic to actually get him into Pop Dog and find both of those kills. It turned the tide of the round, and now we see Dignitas in a very awkward situation where they've only got pistols in it to the, uh, the match point round for Liquid. Yeah, it just feels like on train they uh, they don't have that deep of a playbook twist double kill for him. I thought he was going to be able to line up a little bit more, but a great response from MCE. Nitro with the op and Naf going to keep moving forward. He's, uh, he's bloodthirsty. Not going to find anything, but 15 to 10 now. Five map points for Team Liquid. Another buy coming out from Dignitas. We'll see if they can stave it off. It was a 9-6 half in their favor at the end of their CT side, and they're falling flat here on offense, so... Here we go. Nades, utility out towards team mid. This is desperation from Dignitas. They're fighting in the flames. They've taken so much damage. Even with the opening kill, it might not matter. They're just so weak and so softened up, and they don't even have a safe bomb site. Twist is still lurking around and he hears all the footsteps and certainly he's going to end this. It's all on Grim. Everywhere to look. Opponents at three different angles and Twist does close it down. Across the two maps, Dignitas is only able to get one round in the, in the second halves combined. That is a, a tough situation for them, but a really good recovery in both maps for, for Team Liquid, although never really down and out, just kind of battered and bruised, more like. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, obviously, you know, you kind of have that unknown factor going into this with Dignitas. They, oh, hey. uh, they look good. So good, guys. Yeah. We just appeared out of nowhere. What would you know? I love to see it. I mean, whenever you guys come back, it just means, you know, the uh, the game is done and we have some we have some fun analysis. There it is. Why don't you guys just... Uh, yeah, we've had ounces of fun today. Yeah. Just do whatever you do over there. We're going to try to break down this liquid Dignitas compound that was a matchup that ultimately Dignitas had a pretty decent showing, I think for all intents and purposes, going up against say a Titan, a Gladiator in Team Liquid. Uh, kind of what we expected, but a better showing than that, I suppose. I mean, you know, the, you know they gave the people what they wanted. They entertained, still got the thumbs down though uh, at the end. So uh, didn't go all the way through. And this is a bit of a shame, but at least we've seen two pretty solid apps out of, uh, out of Dignitas compared to what we've seen in the uh, in the earlier parts of the season, and they've done it versus a much stronger opponent. So I guess that is something to take with you for Dignitas. And again, like the entire outline of how we, fa uh, you know, set this match up is that it's always going to be about what kind of positives you can pull out from this for, for Dignitas. And in, in that sense, I'd say, you know, mission accomplished. Obviously, they have two <laughs> very significant halves that they need to work with, but Again, it's better than what I had expected, at least coming into this. It's good to see, because if you relate to, we saw Splice in the first game, like how they played, you know, when, when you think of the matchup Dignitas and Splice, then you think you have a match in your hand where both teams are equally less good in this <laughs> sense, you know, or, or equally skilled. So, I mean, yeah, positive for, for Dignitas in, in the way that they actually showed a little bit of potential against a team like Liquid. And when you had the matchups where Dignitas is going up against Splice, going up against the guy they're fighting for in order to avoid relegation, then we actually can uh, expect a match, you know, and, and not another steam roll. These guys are, are, are pretty decent individuals as well, I'd say. There are some, some few moments where you can see they actually have skill, uh, which is also needed, you know, in, in this Pro League. So, overall, positive showing for Dignitas. Obviously, as you said, thumbs down, zero points on the board, but uh, as for the intent of purposes, I think they're pretty happy with the with how they, this panned out. Well, they got more rounds than Splice did tonight. Yeah. That is the truth. Yeah. We can't hold that over the Splice head, at least. <laughs> but nothing to super hold your head about if you're on the Dignitas side. Obviously, a lot of this is growing pains. Uh, and for all cohesive purposes, they look, I'd say, much better yeah. than Splice. I mean, we see, we see improvement, at least, from week one to week two to, to week three, right? So if mm -hmm. this is a recurring theme for them, then, you know, they, they should be able to pick up a few Ws, especially when they go... Because, yeah, they lost to Complexity, Luminosity, and now Liquid. 
Conflict City is one of the the teams that we didn't have for uh, you know predicted as uh, you know potential relegation uh, team, and the uh, same thing goes for Luminosity. Obviously, we had those pretty high up uh, in the standings. Liquid, a given that they're going to be pretty high up, so they haven't had necessarily the easiest schedule in that sense either. Obviously, you would have liked to see them put up a better fight versus Complexity, but they still have to play the Splices, the Rogues, uh, the Ghosts uh, of the Pearl League, right? So, and I think that's you know considering what we're seeing in uh, the trajectory trajectory they're on. That is a bit of a positive for them to look forward to. And that's uh, a, a good thing to mention, because it would have been differently had they started out against the Splice, had they started out against Rogue, you know, they, they may not have been ready yeah. by now, you know, and as I said, like, they, they get to get that experience, they get to get the first-hand experience playing Pro League and get to play some of the bigger dogs and actually show a little bit of potential, and now they uh, they must feel uh, ready to, to go in against the Rogues, the Splice, and, and, <laughs> and, uh, and, and so forth, you know. So overall, I, I'm just going to close it down and say Dick says they could be okay with, with this result, you know. Obviously, Liquid is going to win this 2-0, so there's no doubt about that yeah. but as long as they didn't get blown out of the water as we saw spliced it then i think they can be okay happy with it you've never spoke truer words <laughs> i think that is the absolute truth but we do have to close this thing out some way somehow so let's just go ahead and start by taking a look at today's results and potentially well there's not a whole lot to go over here usually we have a, an I, was about to, I was waiting for maps. you to be like oh look at the surprise of the evening it's like eh. <laughs> look at the not so surprising evening we had renegades coming out showing a little bit of force there on cash 16 to 4 is your score line to kick off the evening followed by 16 8 on train also going in the way of renegades and then as we switch over into dignitas and liquid mirage followed by train of course 16 to 8 and 16 to 10 respectively uh dignitas They'll get the effort award for the evening. Yeah, definitely. I believe that that is deserved. It's good to see in a world where, you know, it, it's currently burning up with the climate and all that kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> and we still have the constants in, in Counter-Strike, so it's still waiting. We do still have those, but let's go ahead and take a look at tomorrow's matches. We do have just, well, that, yeah, how about yeah. that? We do have a, a, the same number of maps tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so obviously four maps, Rogue and Luminosity kick us off, then Ghost and Splice. Sure to be a barn burner. Who do you got in these, Pam? I mean, the first match is going to be interesting between Rogue and Luminosity, I think, because these are two teams that actually have a lot to play for. Luminosity being the team that we expect to be in top six, constantly fighting for being one of the teams that are trying to establish themselves as a top team, whereas Rogue is, is again, fighting for relegation. But what we've seen from Rogue thus far is, is, is a little bit you know, inconsistent. <laughs> yeah, it, inconsistent. You know, they've been they've been pretty good and they've been pretty bad. You know, so it's going to be interesting to see what Rogue shows up tomorrow. And if it's a good version, I think we could have a decent game on our hands. Whereas the second game goes against Splice. It's it's a uh, it's a relegation game. You know, whoever wins that one is uh, <laughs> is going to be in a better position than the other yeah. one. Yeah. And that's it's a fight to the death right there. What a reality that is. Well, I think that just about does it for us this evening. Again, we will be back tomorrow at the same great time, the same great place. So make sure you're here with us on the Xfinity Analyst Desk. We're coming at you live from the Intel Esports Arena tomorrow. We'll see you then.